Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Lauren. Today's video is going to be all about my beautiful Loewe puzzle bag. I am going on five years of having this handbag. I picked it back up in 2018, which seems surreal to me because I feel like I just picked this up yesterday. But I feel like after five years, I can give you a very in-depth review, the pros and the cons. I once made the claim that this was my favorite handbag. I will let you know if that still stands true. So let's get into it because I feel like I can talk forever. Uh, mine is the small size. Now they have the nano, the mini, the small. I think there's the medium, there's a large. I think there's like an extra large one, like a really giant size. I saw that the other day someone posted it and I thought, oh my gosh, that is massive. I wonder how heavy it is because it's leather. But mine is in the small size. At the time, it only came in two sizes, but it is also, as you can see here, in the smooth calfskin. I know they do a grain calfskin. They do multiple other types of leather as well, but mine is in the smooth calfskin. Please note, there is like a little bit of texture to it, as you can see. I also have the silver hardware as well. The logo, the anagram logo there, um, which is debossed. I think embossed means it's raised and debossed means it goes in, but it is in white. Not all the logos, um, the anagram at the top comes in white. Sometimes it's just debossed and sort of just stamped in it, but it's the same color as the leather. I do really like that my black one has the white logo there. That's basically the only logo for Loewe that you're really going to see. My tea pouch, uh, which is in that anagram kind of print all around the leather, also has the white logo and I do like that. But um, yeah, I mean, I flip it over. There is the one zippered external pocket, no feet. I know that I believe it was the year before I got this, so maybe 2017. Prior to that, they did have feet at the bottom, which I wish this one had, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. We have the top handle here, which I feel like leads to the slouchiness when you carry it. Mine is empty, so there's nothing in it, so it doesn't really have that sort of natural slouch to it. Mine still sort of holds its shape, as you can see. As well, the strap is removable as well as adjustable, which we love an adjustable strap. I don't know why handbag brands still refuse to make some straps not adjustable. I believe the mini is not adjustable. I have to double check that. They have come out with multiple different sort of versions of this. So they have the color block version. They have it in different types of leather, like exotic leathers, which I'm not down for, or exotic snake skin and things like that. Um, as well as they come out with their new one, which is kind of all monochrome. It has the fatter strap on it. I did get that in the mini size in the bright orange color at Christmas time and I ended up returning it. I love the size of the mini and I love the strap length of it because that was a little bit shorter. It wasn't adjustable, but it was shorter. Um, but I just didn't like the orange on me. So I ended up returning that one, but I, I should have done a review on it. I wish I had. Inside lining is made of this light canvas here. It has kind of a chevron print to it. Initially, I was worried that if I were to spill something, it would get stained easily, but I don't know if you can see, there's virtually no marks, no stains at all. And like I said, I have worn this for five years. So um, I will say the price point when I bought this five years ago, I bought it off Matches Fashion, um, which I love. I thought oh, these earrings, these earrings actually are also from Matches Fashion. I got them last year. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I just love the site. Um, but I bought it from Matches five years ago, like I said, 2018. This all in because they include duties and taxes and they had a promo going on. It were, I believe if you spent 1500, you save 300. In the end, Canadian, I paid $2,300 for this. Now, when I look on different websites, whether it's Loewe, the actual site, or Matches or Farfetch, Holt Renfrew, it ranges um, with taxes and everything. It ranges usually from about 4,100, and then if you get um, some different prints, to about $4,600. So quite an increase albeit it's five years and I expected there to be an increase, but ooh, that is tough. I will say though, and this might be a spoiler, 
but I will say if I were to somehow lose this handbag or if I got stolen or something like knock on wood that I would a hundred percent repurchase it without without a second thought so let me tell you why so the first reason this is just an easy to wear handbag. Whenever I have an outfit and I'm looking at my different handbags of what to wear, if I can't decide, I will always grab this one because I feel like it's just a, like the shape of it as well as the fact that there's it's not monogrammed, there's no fancy prints, it's just a very sort of minimal design. This will go with everything and whether you're dressed up or whether you're in sweatpants, I feel like this will go with everything. And if you are planning on dressing up, then just remove the strap, right? And then you can carry it in the crook of your arm or you can carry it handheld. Um, so I just love that it's easy to wear. The other reason why I really like it is that it's very light when it's empty. Even when you fill it up, it's still rather light. But being a leather handbag, you always have the assumption that it's going to be a little bit heavy. This one is not. This one is surprisingly light and I also think it's because of the lining. Um, there is a little bit of hardware that adds to the weight but it's just a light and very comfortable handbag to wear. So the strap is a little bit thicker as you can kind of see there and just it's just comfortable and easy to wear. So that's typically why I will always reach for it. The other reason is that while it is the small size you can fit a lot in here. In my initial video, I think I showed that you can fit a swell, like a larger size water bottle in this handbag, which to me is kind of crazy, right? That you can fit a water bottle in here, but you can. It's small, but like compared to the size of my head, compared to my phone, like you can see right there, it can hold so much. So for all my essentials, everything will fit in as well as extras. So if I know I'm going to be going out and say I'm, you know, taking out my friend's kids or my niece or nephew and I need to carry a little bit more, then this is just such a great handbag because I can fit, like I said, my essentials, but I can also fit snacks in them for them. I can fit a water bottle, like sanitizing wipes, everything like that. So it's lightweight, it's comfortable to wear, it fits a lot. Um, it goes with every single outfit. One of the other reasons why I really love this handbag is because not a lot of people have it still to this day. I mean, back in 2018, I feel like it was really rare to see anyone here in Vancouver, at least to have a Loewe handbag. Even now when I'm walking around, I rarely see anyone carrying a puzzle or a Loewe in general. Um, I see a lot of Louis Vuitton. I swear every second handbag here in Vancouver I see is like a Neverfall. <laughs> And then I see a lot of Chanel. I see a lot of Dior now. And I, I see Gucci once in a while, but I rarely, rarely ever see someone carrying um, a Loewe. And I love that about it. I just love not having a handbag that everybody else has. It might be different where you live, but at least here in Vancouver. Um, and then it's just minimal, right? It's minimal, but if you know, then you know, right? Because this shape, everyone knows it's Loewe. Like there's no other handbag designer that has a very similar shape to this, which I think is rare because like so many luxury brands will have, you know, a duffel bag or they'll have that kind of crescent shaped bag, which I know Loewe has, but none of them really have this kind of square shaped handbag, which I love. So it's a little bit different. It's a little bit sort of muted and understated. But like I said, if you know Loewe, then you know Loewe. So that's another reason why I really love it. Now, if we talk about some of the cons of this handbag, what I don't like about it, um, there's really only one thing, and that is the strap here, and you can probably see what I mean. So, I tend to wear this handbag. I think you're supposed to wear it so that this part is facing up, right, with the logo there. But I don't like when this little notch, like when that part the metal part hits my shoulder if I'm like right now it's fine because I have a big sweater on but say I'm wearing a tank top I just don't like having that in if it's full and it gets a little bit heavy it just kind of presses in I don't like it so I tend to wear it so that it sticks kind of up like this and then this curls up like that and I don't like it and while this has this little strap here which holds it down it always just moves up as the day goes on. So then I end up with something like this. 
that just sort of, if I pull my hair back, I have this, which just like flaps around and like hits me in the face or gets in the way. As you can kind of see, that's really annoying. So then I have to constantly kind of adjust it and push it back down. But then as I wear it, I don't know if it just rubs maybe like that. It just sort of like somehow manages to go back up. So I feel like that's an easy fix. I could probably just get an elastic band and kind of secure that down. But um, I would say, honestly, like that is the only con. Other than the price now, the price of this is absurd. Um, but like I said, I would still pay it if I were to lose this handbag. But the price point is tough. And then this part here, I just don't like. Everything else about this handbag, I love. When we look at the wear of this handbag, for going on like my fifth year of having it, and this is still my favorite handbag. I still wear this the most. I feel like the wear is pretty good. Like some leather will get like really misshapen and saggy and I don't, I used to stuff this when I first got it and take really good care of it. But now, I, I mean, I put it back in its dust bag, but I don't stuff it anymore. So I just kind of let it sit there and you can see that it's still kept its sort of boxy shape. You can see the leather there. It looks really good, even the sides look really good. There's maybe a couple marks. You can see that there's uh, a mark there. The bottom, the bottom also looks really good. I dropped this in the parking lot of Trader Joe's one year. I remember I was you know, down in the States doing some Trader Joe's shopping and I remember it fell out of my car and landed on the ground. I was like, oh my gosh. I thought there would be much more damage, but literally, you can see it looks so this looks so good. Um, I've been caught in the rain with it because I live in Vancouver and it rains all the time. And I feel like leather does really well in the rain. I did protect this. Um, I can't remember what I used. I will leave it down below, but I did use a spray protector. Being in Canada, it's a little bit tougher to find things like Apple Guard. Um, I can't remember. I might've used the Kiwi All Protect All. I think that's what I used on this. And honestly, it's just, it's so good and like I said the wear on the inside there is like a slip pocket and then there's also a um, no there's not a zipper pocket there's two slip pockets on the inside but the wear like nothing as you can kind of see there so it's just been such an amazing handbag um, even the top part here I know I've seen some people that have cracking and that typically happens, so along the piping there and the glazing begins to crack or the leather gets um, a little bit like brittle and begins to crack, nothing, nothing. It still looks so good for how much I have worn this. So I would definitely say now if you're thinking about getting it, get it. If there was a size to recommend sort of for an everyday handbag, I would suggest if it's your first one to get the small. I still like the mini. I really do. But the fact that the strap is not adjustable bothers me. The mini also doesn't have this external zipper pocket, which kind of bothers me as well. Um, but this just, it holds your essentials. But then if you need more room, it has more room for you. So definitely recommend it. Still would give it 10 out of 10. Still my favorite handbag. I love this one and I will never, ever, ever sell it, ever. So that is my final thought on this. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will see you in my next video. Thank you again for watching. Bye.